Ramam <coughs> for today is Hilchas Ishus Periket Zion Allah Dalad writes Misha Girish as Ishtay the Allah Star Chayiv the person we have a situation first let's if a woman uh, gets divorced. So she has a claim to a ksuba. And she can go to the, uh, she can go collect. Like there's a different levels of abilities to collect. There's a balchayv who collects, one who you owe money to because you borrowed money. Or whatever way you became a balchayv. And then there is a, <clears throat> A woman who has a ksuba. Now here we have a case <clears throat> where a person divorced his wife. And there's also a Malchai who he owes money to. And they both are coming to collect. And this person, the first case, which is not the main case we're going to talk about, but he gives the first case. If there is money and there is um, property, real estate, and they are enough to cover So then we divide. Mois, which is the preference, people want money rather than real estate. Or you don't have to worry about dealing with his real estate. So the Balchayv gets his choice and he gets Mois. Okay, that's then comes the next Allah. What happens if Ainle Ella Kark? And that Kark is not sufficient for both. It's only sufficient for one. Who gets who gets the right? Is it the Ksuba or the Machai? So listen to the rap. There was no preference. In other words, there was no, she wasn't first or in a way that would give her a first right. Nice has preference over the woman, over the woman collecting her suit. They initially, she called, Tito. <laughs> if there's something left for her, she's I don't know why he has to repeat that, but that's the last Um, now, here he explains the reasoning. Listen to his logic. Shaharei Balchayv Hifsid Balchayv invested there. He lost money. So he gave away his money. And the woman did not lose anything in her marriage. And here he adds a line. I mean, that's enough of a reason. You're going to stop right there. Well, a woman doesn't give money to get married. And but yeah, she yes, sir, Misha Ish writes a Lisa, Isha writes a Lina. More than the man wants to get married, the woman wants to get married. <clears throat> now, this concept needs to be analyzed, discussed. But before we get there, let's see where the source of the Rambam is. So the Rambam is a Gemara Ksubis Daf Pei Vov. There, the Gemara tells, um, says the it says a similar story. One who has a ksubasisha and a and it doesn't fit only for one. So here, the Gemara, listen to the word, the line of the Gemara. Yavina la leish, yavina la balchayv, yavina la leish la yavin. You give it to the balchayv and not to the woman. My time up. Yes, I mean, Masha Ish writes, Lisa Ish writes in us. Gemara doesn't tell you anything about Machayv invested and the woman didn't invest. Well, straight to the point. Yes, I mean, Ish writes, Lisa Ish writes in us. So the Rambam obviously added a line here that's not in the Gemara and created it on its own. And whenever he does that, needs to be understood why. Why did he add it? And it doesn't seem that it's just an addition, like a side point. It's the main point. 
and 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 in other words, he added, and not just as a, this is a, this each of his independent reasons that make sense. You don't need to add. So why did he? Why did he add? Why did he? Add? Continuing with that, why is it relevant to us that she wants to get married more than him? The main point is that she wants to get married. <laughs> That's all. Who cares the <laughs> whether it's more or less than him? That's not the issue. It's more than the fact that Arbal Khaib wants to give out a loan, a free loan society. Right? That's the main point. He's comparing it to Balkhaib, not to the man, not to the husband. A woman wants to get married. Okay, you could say it's just an, a, an expression, but it's hard, you know. You don't usually say such things. That, that should be the main point. And, and once the Ramam is established that a Balchayv invested and a woman did not invest, it is. You don't need anything else. Right? What, what, in other words, in addition to why he added it, why does he need now the, the Gemara's reason? Um, there is a <clears throat> there, there is a Gemara in Gitten where the Gemara establishes the different levels of collection between a uh, a Nizik one who was damaged, who collects from the uh, from the damager, the mazik, the malchai who collects from the the, the, the borrower, the leva, and the woman who collects from her husband. So there are three levels of collection, and they are relevant to what kind of property they will get. For instance. If they all three come along, or they even they don't come along together, but the payer, payer, the debtor in the case, whether it's because of his a, a, a mazik because he damaged, or because he borrowed, or because he's married, married this woman and owes her the ksuba, then it will depend on what level. There is three types of real estate. There is what's called idis which is the prime real estate. There is Bainanis, which is the average real estate. And there is Ziburis, which is the lower level real estate. So which of the three goes to who? So a, a, a Nizik, one who, was, the one who was damaged, goes to the one who damaged them and can collect the best. The uh, Baal Chayv, the really he should collect the cheapest part, the cheapest real estate. However, the um, the, the 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 rabbis, the hachamim, saw in this that we may not be able to maintain a commerce, uh, a, a successful commercial industry if people are not going to willing to lend money to others. So in order to encourage that, we upped him a level and gave him, um, we gave him the ability to get average real estate. And the woman, we left her at her, at her, at her, at her halacha, which is to take the lower level real estate, which is what should be in most cases, except for um, mazik, anizik. And why did we leave her? So the Gemara says the following. Why did we say Same thing. Because the woman wants to get married more than the man. Okay, so why do we have to say that? Because <laughs> so the woman wants to get married. And she's okay with she's okay with Ziburas. Why is the stress on more or less of the man as so. <clears throat> um, there is another kind of concept that exists, 
And that is a focus on the woman in the Gemara. The Gemara says that <clears throat> a woman would rather get married, be, ma stay, be married, than to become a widow or be singular. So that is an expression in Gemara. It's an Aramaic expression, tav lemeitav tandu, or lemeisav tandu. It's better for her to, to be married, <clears throat> even if he's not the greatest person a certain in his appearance. Obviously, if he's not a mensch, it's not what we're talking about. If his appearance is not so great, but it's better than living alone. So why did the Gemara have to come with a new, <laughs> a new concept? Why would we just rely on what was said so many times and brought down in the Gemara, other places, and there the focus on her. She would rather be married, that's all. <clears throat> when the Raman quotes this Gemara that why a woman um, gets Ziburis, he, he applies this not only to the Ksuba itself, but also to what's called Teisefes Ksuba. The, in other words, when a person writes a ksuba, there's a certain amount that's a basis and that's a requirement. But then there is more additional ksuba. It becomes part of the ksuba. You can write a million dollars, doesn't matter. What about that million dollars? How do we treat it? Do we treat it like ksuba or do we treat it like a loan? And the Raman brings that it's just like the ksuba. And you get only from... <clears throat> the Ziburis, the lower level of real estate. And the question is, why? If it's equal, yes, uh, the, the same reasoning, but here the tasteless is not from the rules of the Ksuba. It's what they agreed on. <clears throat> All right. I want to just take a break for a second and analyze what is Ksuba all about. Ksuba is... On, on, on a normal basis, we can understand. You get married, you need some security after it doesn't work out. So to secure her life after it doesn't work out, we give her a ksuba. But that's not what the, the, the Rambam and the Gemara talk about. The purpose of Ksuba is so he shouldn't have it, he, he shouldn't want to, he shouldn't take divorce easily. Realize there are consequences, there are financial consequences, and therefore he won't jump and rush to divorce. It's not about divorce and death that there is Ksuba. Security after the marriage would end, but rather while they are married, there should be security. Meaning she should have a secure life with him in a way that she feels more confident in their marriage. Now, that discussion I've, I've written about and discussed in a different place, uh, but I want to just mention one aspect. Ksuba is not from the Torah, even though there are places in the Torah that it seems there is such a thing, and uh, we're not going to get into that. There's a beautiful sikha on that, and a lot of discussions on that. But the Rambam, a famous Rambam, when he talks about the mitzvah of getting married, he writes the, in, 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 in the Minyan HaMitzvah, in the counting of the mitzvahs, or in the, in, in the introduction to Hilchus Ishus, Lisa Isha Biksuba Vikidush to marry a woman with Ksuba and Kiddush. So there's, there's a lot discussed. What do you mean? The Ram himself says Ksuba is with Rabbana. It's not a Darais, it's not from a Tayyar, it's only the Rabbana. So the the, the 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 understanding based on what we're saying is that Ksuba is a general term used in the Ramam to a, a marriage that's enhanced, which includes the Torah requirements, which are written in the Ksuba, 
which is taking care of her needs, whether they be physical or they be uh, um, clothing or, or food, everything that goes into the needs of the woman. It's a responsibility, in other words, responsibility. Out. And why is all that? So they should have a healthy, happy marriage, a good, healthy marriage. So, and part of that is the, 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 what the Chachamim added to ha- help in the healthy marriage. So Ksuba is, the, this, is, is defined as whatever brings about a secure, healthy marriage. So let's look at this. In a, once we have that, let's look at it in a different light. The Marian Kitten says, why does a woman get the lower level? And says, because more than the woman wants to get married, the man wants to get married, the woman wants to get married. And we ask the question, <laughs> same question, who cares what the man wants? And the answer is, no, we do care. Because the whole idea of the ksuba is the relationship between the husband and the wife. So we have to weigh what is going to help this be a stronger. What do we need? What's relevant to make it stronger? And what will help the woman through? And what will help the man in his life? What will what'll, what'll balance that, 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 that marriage in a way that it'll be a healthy uh, marriage. So therefore, we always have to look at not just what she wants, but what she wants regarding him. That's why the Gemara puts that in. So now let's go back to our halach. We have a Baal Chayif comes and a woman comes. So the Rambam doesn't go just to the, what the Gemara says. Okay, I, I don't want to get into it. I have, there is indications that he has sources in Yerushalmi and other places. But I don't want to get into that right now. Time doesn't allow for that. However, the Rambam is, is, starts off, doesn't, the, the, his main reason is not that. And again, he has reasons to prove that that's not the main reason. And that is that the husband, it, it, it's obviously doesn't, and also it doesn't make sense because the idea of more than a woman wants to get married more than a, the husband, that's good when we're talking about their relation. What does this have to do with their relation when, when we're already afterwards and there's a balchai? I mean, that's not what, that's not a contingency that she, you know, she gets married, she's going to think about what is going to be if I, you know, or he's going to think what's going to happen when there's a, uh, I have somebody who's a balchai, but wants to come for my money, who's going to get, that, that, that's not part of the marriage uh, situation. That's not part of the marriage situation that we should have to be concerned about that. So obviously the arm holds, and, and that's where he proves from a different sugya, that, that you have to look at what's relevant to the marriage situation. And this is not really the marriage situation. So therefore, this logic doesn't apply. So therefore, the Ramam just tells you the reason, because the Balchayv invested, the woman did not invest. It's not an investment. Oh, now ask the Ramam a question. What in the world are you telling me a woman didn't invest? The woman now takes on many responsibilities in her marriage. And the Ramam himself delineates them recently, we learned, and all the things she has to do for her husband and all the different requirements that go into a marriage. How do you tell me she's in the best? She's investing her life, her body, her feelings, her, 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 her interests, and the, the things that she's required to do. I mean, it's, it's, I, we, we've, we've, we've studied it in the last couple of weeks. So how could you make such a statement? If he's asking himself a question, I just said to you that the 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 the, the invested, and the woman didn't. What do you mean? Didn't oh, there the Ramon comes and says yes, but that investment comes from a desire to get married, and therefore that takes away the 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 the, the, the um 
concept that she lost something. She didn't lose, she gained. But the gain comes with responsibility. And that's what he stress. Why does he have to stress there the concept that it's more than the husband? Again, to bring out that even though that everybody here is invested, but there is some desire there that's a very strong enough desire that doesn't make the concept of Kusra that she lost. That's why he adds that. But that's not the main reason. The main reason, the first reason. Oh, but then we had a question. There is a Shas concept that's brought down many times. That a woman that focuses on the woman, she'd rather be married, remain married, than to become the than to become a widow or 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 a divorcee. So I saw in a sefer called Pirchei Kuhuna, and the Sechtas Kedush Nafemah, where the Gemara mentions that for one at a time. He says that logic only works once you're married. That. She, once she's married, she will remain married to him. She will not hate him for not looking the way he, she thought he would look. And she will be willing to stay with him because she'd rather not be a, 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 a widow. But that's not a reason to get married. And therefore, in the original case of when they get married and they write the Ksuba and they want the Ksuba, which is a, a prelude to marriage, which is a responsibility that brings about the marriage. And therefore, the Gemara used a different concept in Halachas of Ksuba, which is at, before the marriage. And so these are two separate concepts that don't relate one to the other. Anyway, thank you very much. Have a good day.